Hey guys, got another unboxing video. Today I'm going to be showing you the Zong E Optics Medicon Turbo 2 adapter. This is the latest rendition of their turbo adapter for the FX mount for Fuji. This is the Nikon. And uh, let me do a quick unboxing. I'm going to get some of this stuff out of the way first, just so I don't knock it down by accident. Now, one of the interesting things about this adapter is that it will multiply your focal length by about 0.73. So, in other words, you gain back some of the focal length you lose when you uh, go on a crop body camera. Now, there are no instructions in here. That's interesting. And here's the adapter. Very heavy. Let's take the caps off. Now, one of the things I need to tell you, it's hard to see in this video, but those inner elements really stick out. They are very convex, and this one sticks way out. Now, one of the nice things about having that rear element stick out so far is that you're actually going to gain some light because light travels less from the rear optic to the sensor. Okay, I'm going to try out with a smaller lens here first. This is a Nikon 51.8. Now normally this lens on the Fuji body, which has a crop factor of 1.5, would be about 75 millimeters, but with the turbo adapter you're going to have to, excuse me, just line up the red dots with the other dot. Nice, firm click to it. Really important note I wanted to make. When I first got this adapter, it was extremely tight on the body. The uh, powder coating they use was just so thick that it just felt like I was forcing it onto the camera body. But after a couple uses, it basically got a, a normal feel to it. Now, when you put this adapter on your camera, again, it has a nice firm feel. No, I did not hear an audible click, but trust me, it's just well attached to the camera body right now. Before you start shooting, go to your menu, go to camera, the little camera number three, and make sure that shoot without the lens is on. If not, your shutter will not fire. Now, to show you another quick fact, you do not have to take the lens, the adapter off the camera body. You can just take that off and put the 135 right on there. And there you go. No play whatsoever, by the way. Extremely well built. Oh. So, a couple quick little facts I wanted to point out. The adapter has a, basically multiplies your focal length by about one, I'm sorry, about 0.73, which means the 135, which would normally be about a 202 millimeter on this body, would behave more like a 148 millimeter. Another cool fact is that the f2 aperture also gets multiplied by 0.73, so this essentially becomes a 1.5 f1.5 lens. So you're gaining about two thirds of a stop of light. I can't imagine anyone complaining about that. In the field, most of the images I've taken so far with this adapter have had great center sharpness, a little bit of loss of contrast, but overall, I have no real negative comments about it. If you're a pixel peeper, you might not be happy with it, but then again, you probably won't be happy with any of the turbo adapters, whether they're made by metal bones or whatever the case might be.